Right. So here we are. It is a bit dreary here in St. Paul, a good day to cozy up to a good conference. So we're so glad you are here. One thing we want to make you aware of as we go through a handful of announcements is that there are lots of things about to be shared with you, many links. And instead of dropping a bunch of links, there is one document where we have put all of the links and we're gonna share that with you. And uh, Christine's about to show you what that looks like. Don't go to it now, it's in your participant folder and it is going to have everything you're about to see. So no need to worry about clicking on things or saving things. It's all right there for you um, to look at after the conference or after this session or when you have a break. So um, welcome, we're gonna get started here. A few things to know. Again, the event is being recorded and will be posted and shared publicly. And there are some expectations in the flyer for participation um, at the end of today's, uh, at the end of the flyer that you'll see, just to ensure a positive experience for everybody. And we have a couple of people we need to publicly thank and that are Gail Irutan and Marisa Giesler. If they are available to come on camera, please say hello. They are doing amazing work, um, lots of heavy lifting to make today possible. Thank you so much, Gail and Marisa. And another thank you, our literacy coordinator at Atlas is Christine Kelly. And I'll turn things over to Christine who has made the magic happen in making today's uh, conference come to life. Thank you, Christine. Well, thank you. And the magic happens because of um, the Atlas team and um, because uh, the people that we asked to present and share their talents were so gracious to accept. So welcome, everyone. Uh, I'm Christine Kelly. I'm so excited. Uh, we've got great registration numbers, um, and this is going to be a great two days. Uh, I want to thank all of the hosts and co-hosts. We have a lot of people who step up to be behind the scenes tech um, people, support network providers, a lot of those people come from our support network providers, all of our presenters. It just it just takes a lot of people and we have a lot of people who are willing to step up and, um, and help. I especially want to thank LATTE. This is the Language and Literacy Advisory Team. Uh, we have a new team, a new two-year team that just started this year. Um, you might recognize some of the names on the screen. This is a group of people who really got to work uh, to help us decide what to offer um, and who to ask for this conference. So thank you if you are on LATTE. Um, uh, please thank you uh, uh, for your participation and for all of your support and ideas. There is a participant folder um, and there is a link on the flyer. This is a really important link because in the participant folder, um, you will see a breakdown of all the sessions, including the keynotes and this welcome session. And there are session slide decks. Uh, handouts will go there, resources that presenters um, talk about. And please note that content is going to be added um, certainly there's some content now and some will be added today and tomorrow, but we also will have content, presenters will be adding content into next week. So um, just be aware that it might take a few days um, uh, to get that information. And there is a QR code as well um, to get the participant folder. The all important flyer. Um, this is really your key to the next few days, and I'm going to click here uh, for just a moment. And one thing to note about this morning in particular is that you are on this link and you will stay on this link for the duration of the morning um, until lunchtime. So don't log off. Uh, we will be moving through, moving right into the keynote on the same link. If you get kicked out or you accidentally uh, close yourself out, the only way to get back in here is to use the link located in your registration confirmation email. So, so everyone should have received that. Um, uh, a, a, another one went out yesterday if you registered this morning. That's why you're here because you're using your link that you received. Um, all other links are going to be on the flyer. Graduate credit for this conference really quickly. I've already had a lot of interest, which is really, I think, very exciting. 
there's a reduced rate, one credit, $200. Um, I'm going to be the one who is going to be reviewing your work and giving you feedback. There is a registration link um, on the slide and also on the document uh, with all the links. Note the um, due date to register. And basically it's what you're doing. You're going to be attending today and tomorrow and you're going to be summarizing um, how you are going to apply something that you learned uh, from this conference. And there are going to be so many ideas that will not be a problem. You can also learn more about the ABE license uh, at the link provided. I'm going to turn it over to Patsy for some exciting news. We have some exciting news. Well, whenever adult educators get together, you are in the presence of greatness, but today even more so. We have some award winners among us, and I invite Andrea and Erin and anyone else who is involved with IMABE to just come on camera for a moment and just have a moment with us because they both, um, I am ABE and everyone involved with that and Andrea, um, were awarded some very important statewide ESL awards this year from Mini TESOL, which is the state ESL organization. And they, um, Andrea's was for um, exemplary service to the field of ESL this last year. And um, I am ABE for their work in advocacy in the last uh, uh, many years, of course, of service. Hello, hello. We had to make you co-host first. I just realized that. Sorry, tech hiccup. So <laughs> we are so delighted. Thank you. And if you are Zoom savvy and know how to find those reaction buttons and can like give applause or like a heart, or you're someone who can find your chat box and like give us like a way to go or like congratulations, like do that. And let's give like just some warm um, well wishes to two of our ABE heroes among us um, and everyone involved with I am ABE. We have some just some amazing people among us. Um, and we once in a while have an opportunity to thank them publicly. And I wanted to be sure we had that moment this morning. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all that you do for us in ESL and in the larger field of adult education. Thank you. So we are going to go through and you're going to hear some different voices. Um, we are Minnesota Adult Education and we have an amazing um, we have amazing PD opportunities uh, and there are a lot of them. So again, these links are on um, the um, the what we shared with you earlier. So you don't have to worry about copying down any of the links um, or um, um, racing to take notes on any of the information. So Patsy's gonna lead us off with an exciting new opportunity. Yeah, so in the world of ESL, speaking of, um, we are hoping to do some more focused PD, professional development for those who teach low literacy adult ESL. And that is for those who teach uh, students with little or no alphabetic print literacy, meaning they do not read or write in their primary languages, either because that language was only recently written down or that they did not have an opportunity to learn it in a formal manner. And so to that end, we need your ideas. We need to know what are the most pressing, most persistent, most big topics on your minds that are keeping you from doing what you want to do with your students. And so to, uh, we are putting together a small task force. There's a rather short turnaround on time to become part of it. And we apologize for the short turnaround, but wanted to be sure this was made known to this group because no doubt many of you are here on this call. So there's a little information here. Um, there's more information linked in that flyer we mentioned um, before. And that's been linked a couple times. Maybe we can drop it one more time. There's an application then to fill out. There's one mandatory meeting on the 16th of February. And then you choose one extra meeting where you'll help us just think through what are the big issues and how can we help? Um, that's really what we're thinking about. So thank you for considering. Uh, we know this is a challenging context for ESL. It happens to be my time in the classroom for many years as well. And I want to know how Atlas can be of service. Thank you. We invite Astrid. Yes, good morning, everyone. I'm Astrid Lydon with the Minnesota Department of Education. And I wanted to invite all of you who uh, work with students on preparing them for high school equivalency um, to ED or high set to join our monthly coffee talks. These kicked off this week. Um, my colleague, Brandy Logan, the HSE uh, 
coordinator on our team is facilitating facilitating those and um, invite you to come and and talk to MDE staff, other adult and colleagues about challenges and successes you are having around HSC preparation. And the link to that is on the Atlas events calendar. Thank you. Another opportunity coming up also with Andrea is uh, in March through mid-April is a trauma-informed practices study circle. This very much dovetails the work that Lucille will be sharing with us this morning. Um, and uh, you can watch the PD Connect newsletter for registration, which opens in early February. Coming up in uh, Thursday, February 15th is an ACES webinar. You may have caught the first one on January 11th. This is part two and join Stephanie Summers and Carly Rochelle for that. The Metro Regional live and in person, you guys, it has been four years. We had our last in-person event before everything shut down um, in March of 2020. We are back. We are delighted to be in person again for the Metro Regional uh, in Roseville. So February uh, 6th, registration opens. If you live and work in the Metro area, please join us. Lots of great opportunities. Another one coming up is one that I'm working hard on. Um, uh, it will be a new evidence-based reading instruction opportunity. Uh, I'm designing a new course on Canvas that will go through the four components of reading and um, some diagnostic reading assessment. And I will be piloting this in a hybrid model. So it will be the Canvas course and four synchronous webinars this spring. If you've done the adult numeracy, uh, the uh, numeracy initiative course, that the wonderful course that Lindsay Poos designed on Canvas and also had synchronous webinars, um, that is kind of a model. So more info is going to come in February. Keep your eye on the newsletter and Mighty Networks. This will be application um, for the pilot. And that will be due March 22nd for an April and May course. And then, of course, we will take information, uh, feedback from the pilot, tighten things up. And then um, we will, of course, be um, opening it up to everyone who's interested. Yeah, another thing to save the date for on April 19th, we will have an Adult Career Pathways Institute. Um, it is a half day event. It'll be virtual. If you in any way work in career pathways with IETs or you know what an SSLO is or want to, you will want to join us for that event. Uh, Carly Rochelle, as well as our colleagues at the state, are helping us put that together. And as a quick reminder, we have these they're not so new, but they're 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 going to be new for some people. These Canvas courses, um, we revamped so much and rebuilt on uh, our new Canvas platform. So many um, people have done ABE foundations. It has been great to see that. We also have CCRS foundations newly revamped. We have ACES foundations. These are self paced. You get personalized feedback from facilitators, and there's a lot of CEUs involved. So we really encourage you um, to check those courses out on Canvas. Just quickly, uh, the agenda. For today, we have the first part of the keynote, um, and then we have a second part of the keynote uh, after a brief break. Then we have a keynote reflection, which is um, a, a high, well, we've structured, highly structured it. You will have a facilitator. It's a great way to dig into some of the content you've heard this morning and, and talk about how it applies to your role, your context. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then this afternoon after um, lunch, we have two sets of workshops. So I'm really excited. Um, I know that there are things that I'm excited to see this afternoon. So Patsy, Patsy, Patsy picked this uh, picture out during COVID and we have Poor kept kid. it because it's so <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> He's probably in college by now. Um, anyway, yes, there's a quick heads up that uh, you may be asked to turn on your camera and unmute yourself to share thoughts throughout the day. And we hope that you will join us for that. This is, we hope an active day. Um, it is a, it's a long day to just sit by yourself in front of a screen. So you're not by yourself, you're among friends. And so we hope that you will take advantage of the opportunities to interact with your colleagues and as possible, of course, we understand if you're not able to, but uh, please engage. Please engage with your with your colleagues and, and take part in those breakouts and those conversations. The flyer is super magical. Here's why: all the recordings <laughs> will be linked in the flyer by next week, not before then. So don't email us before next week. Um, but we will get them in there. Um, and if you have questions about that. Um, 
if you don't see them by mid next week, you can email us, um, but give us a little time. It does take a little time to get those uploaded and um, ready for you. They will be in the same flyer that you're using to navigate the day. Um, and we will just change the join link to the recording link. Uh, the evaluation is also embedded in the flyer. And then after filling it out, you'll be able to download your CEUs for the day. So you'll do, you'll do that twice, once for today and once for tomorrow, if you're joining us again tomorrow. There is a reason why uh, Atlas really sets the bar um, for um, for virtual conferences. And if this is the first time you've joined us for language and literacy virtually, you will see um, it is a well-oiled machine thanks to the people uh, who support us and are behind us. One more reminder, there's a participant folder and that participant folder is going to have content from the sessions. But as Patsy was saying, um, we will give us until next week or the presenters until early next week or midweek um, to add um, the PDFs of the slide decks and resources and things like that. So, and with that, I'm going to turn it over to Patsy, who is going to <laughs> yeah. introduce our keynote. Yeah, we're so glad that Lucille Rosario is joining us today. There's a little bit about her on the screen, but um, you're going to be so glad you came this morning. Some of you may have attended a webinar or two that our colleague Lucy Rosario gave in the last few years with Atlas. She's worked with us before um, and her work has been so helpful and so well received um, that she is back by popular demand here at Atlas. And in preparing and Patsy, for- Yeah. Um, let's stop the recording here then so yeah, that we can you. have this. Um, sorry, everyone. We're, we're just, we want to make a, a clean recording for you all so that you can um, skip the announcements if you need to and just listen to Lucille. So um, Go ahead. just briefly here.